Welcome to Modular City. Our town is based on modular sound synthesis. It is founded by people using modular synthesizers, making modular synthesizers, teaching how they work and how to use them. And by people who simply love modular synthesizers, sound design and music. Let me say it again, welcome to Modular City. Our town is a young town. There are only 10 buildings so far. 10 buildings with a lot of rooms, offices and workshops being still empty and without tenants. But, on the other hand, there is already a lot going on in the rooms which have found their tenants and where the spirit of modular synthesis can be felt and be heard and be seen all over the place 24 hours a day. In our junior high school, there are enthusiasts teaching the basics of modular synthesis. In your high school next term. So, let me say, welcome to the last lesson here on Modular City Junior High. Today, we are going to plan to set up and to execute a more complex patch. Our task reads, construct a patch which produces quite complex... And here is the block diagram. And with that done, we have fulfilled our task. Let me just repeat where the access points are. The regulation of the strength of the frequency modulation and the development Enjoy your holidays. And see you at Modular City Senior High School next term. Next to the Junior High School, there is our Senior High School, where you are shown a bit deeper into the matter of modular sound design and music making using modular systems. That if frequency sounds like nonsense, doesn't it? Well, a negative frequency is a frequency with a phase shift of 180 degrees. With the sine wave, it looks like that. In other words, the first sideband whose frequency is arithmetically negative occurs in the spectrum as a positive frequency of the same number of hertz, but with a phase shift of 180 degrees. We can imagine it as a reflected frequency with the y-axis of the coordinate system as the mirror. In the shown example, the reflected sideband falls against another sideband. But wait a minute, wait a minute, the reflected sideband has undergone a phase shift. The phases of the positive sideband, the yellow one, and the reflected negative sideband, the brown one, are out of alignment by 180 degrees and that should lead to phase cancellation. Hmm, of course it should. And of course it does, but only if both amplitudes are identical. In our example, they are not. The order of the reflected brown sideband is higher and its amplitude is lower than that of the yellow sidebands. So what happens? Well, the amplitude of the yellow side and opposite to our high school, there is the university here, professors lecture about the high science of modularity, about modular sonic art, and about the latest developments on the field of modular synthesis. And therefore, don't limit yourself to more or less common approaches. Try using different sources to trigger your sequencer. You might, for example, connect a sample and hold module to the clock input. Or a field recording taken at a shopping center and uh, sent uh, through an attenuator amplifier to set the trigger threshold 
will deliver interesting rhythmical variations. So, welcome to Modular City. Welcome to all who want to learn. But there are also fun and joy and leisure time activities in our town. The festival hall offers musicians and artists of different kinds and genres a place to bring their work, their art to the people. And in our museum you can enjoy a look into the past and get some experiences with those instruments it all began with. Our history tweet number 100 is dedicated to this wonderful piece of studio equipment without which a lot of great pieces of uh, progressive rock and popular music wouldn't exist and neither would a lot of movies. You can sound. learn about the circumstances and about how musicians and artists of sonic art did their work in those days. Full Berlin school style no wonder it features the MOOC synthesizer. Or you may simply indulge yourself in nostalgia. And there is a library in the museum where you will find PDF documents about everything and every matter of Modular City, as well as a lot of stuff which is related to music, sound, sound design and synthesizers, even if it's not directly a part of our town. Okay then, welcome to all who want to spend a bit of their leisure time with us here in Modular City. You would like to do some work or get some inspiration for your work at home in your own studio? Well, you might like a visit in one of our factories then. Next to the university there is the patch factory where fans of modular synthesis develop and show their patch ideas or work on whole setups. There are high professionals, professionals as well as learners and beginners working there. Next to the patch factory, around the corner at the main road, you'll find modules incorporated. It is all about the wide world of existing modules. Here you will find information about common modules as well as about more experimental and even crazy and strange ones. Let's look at the upper big knob called Morph. This knob has got two more LEDs, a green one down uh, at the left and the red one down at the right side. These two LEDs indicate which group of waves is active, which group of waves is active.
above the 440 Hz position, the modulation oscillator runs at a higher frequency than the principal oscillator, but follows all movements of the principal oscillator's frequency. The frequency of the sine wave is double the frequency of the modulation oscillator's wave, which is not a saw wave anymore, but a triangle wave. Kind of triangle wave. I change the modulation oscillator's frequency, and we see that there is always a partial sometimes with a low amplitude at the exact frequency of the principal oscillator, but it is not the fundamental. There is always at least one lower The hardware workshop is located opposite to modules incorporated. Here, in the hardware workshop, you will learn about everything that is touchable but doesn't make sound. Cases, cables, power supplies, external sequences and controllers and so on. Even some do-it-yourself matters are dealt with there. But there's also a department there where there is something audible going on because the hardware workshop houses semi-modular synthesizers as well. Welcome to my tutorial about the sequence of functionality of Arturia's key step. I'm going to talk only about the sequencer. I won't talk about the setup no more than only one single step. Simply press it, uh, the, the tap button more than only once. Each time you press the tap button, the device jumps to the next step of the sequencer. Well, let's do it. So, for example, you can listen to a piece of music and uh, tapping the button according to the music um, you are listening to, Keystop will adjust its speed to the speed of the piece of music. Um, what's more, the sequencer doesn't need to be playing when you adjust the speed this way. I'd like to dedicate some. some words to the chord mode at the end of today's video. It's not directly related to the sequencer, though. You can construct a chord with up to 16 notes using... Key. The name of the first building in our town reads Soft and Loud. Here it's all about software concerning modular synthesis. Whereas both hardware modules as well as their equivalents in software are the matter of interest in modules incorporated, here in the building of Soft and Loud you will find only modular soft synths or individual modules of them, which don't have an equivalent in the world of hardware. Algorithms yet. Let me introduce the family of algorithms which um, use real feedback loops. I mentioned the simplest member oh, of the family. together enables us to burst the bonds of pure sine wave modulations. If I want one of the mentioned different wave shapes sine as wave a modulator, the, bass sound. the sound of the harpsichord consists of two components, the silvery sound of the strings and the hard metallic effect. sound that even inaudibly high frequencies can have audible results. I tune operator too high again. Well then, let me repeat, welcome to Modular City. You can come and walk around in our town, looking here and looking there, entering a building and staying for a while before visiting another place in our town and so on. But there are also guides, offering shorter or longer guided tours through Modular City. Just choose one and they lead you to the places of your interest. There is a tourist guide who will show you everything in our town, leading you on a sightseeing tour to give you an impression of what is Modular City about and 
what places you might visit later to stay a bit longer there. There are guides for those of you who want to learn. Just choose a guide which fits your actual level of knowledge best. There will be more guides later, as well as there will be more buildings and more occupied rooms in each of the buildings. Modular City is a developing town, as I told you a few minutes ago. Do you like reading? Well, we'll come to Modular City then. Everything in our town, every experiment, every video, every action is available as a PDF document as well. And what's more, you can always switch between, for example, a video and the corresponding chapter in a PDF document. And vice versa. There are links to the correspondent video clips, experiments, activities and so on in these PDF documents. All right. Have aroused your curiosity? Well, get a member of our rowfilm-media.net community then. There are a lot of in-depth tutorials and dozens of pages of written material in our members area. Already today, it is a comprehensive source of information. Please visit www.rowfilm-media.net to learn how to get a membership. Simply follow the link in the description of this video. But as the first version of Modular City is going online not earlier than at the end of March 2019, you can get a two-year membership by paying only for one year. Two year at the price of one. Two years at the price of one. If you get a member before the 1st of April 2019. But you can support Modular City and accelerate its further development not only by getting a member. If you are in contact with the industry, producers of hardware, as well as software companies, you may consider telling them about Modular City. And if you only want to stay tuned at the moment, if you want to get informed about how Modular City develops, well then, go to www rowfilm-media.net as well. There you can subscribe to our newsletter. Again, just follow the link in the description. Have a good time. Enjoy your day. Rolf Kasten.